We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back after these commercials. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Before every big purchase you have to prepare, prepare the easy way by calling Harrisonville's Farmers Insurance Agent, Brad Saner. Brad will make sure there are no holes in your coverage and take care of you with any lives mishaps. Prepare for great insurance coverage by calling Brad Saner at 816-974-8105. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, ba -da -ba. At RISE Community Services, we believe in giving individuals the opportunity to increase their skills, empower their choices, and achieve their dreams. Our team provides opportunities that create perfect lives with inclusive programs connecting individuals to their community. Hey, I'm Travis. I took a shot with RISE and it was a slam dunk. Are you traveling far and wide looking for someone to service your vehicle and get new tires? Stop. The best place is right around the corner at Tilton's Quick Lube and Tire in Holden. Right on 58 Highway, they can get you in and out in no time and treat you like family. With 15 years in the business, Charlie and his staff will make sure you get taken care of honestly and fairly. So next time you need service, save the time, gas, and travel around the corner to Tilton's Quick Lube and... Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Contest. We're going to keep it here at half court and till Coach Gordon gets up here.
All right, well, welcome to the last game of the uh, William D. Gordon Holiday Classic Day 1. We've got the one seed Drexel Bobcats versus the eight seed Chillahalli Indians. And we're getting ready to tip off here shortly. Got a little size differential here with the tip off. I'm gonna guess it's about a foot difference here. We'll see what happens. Oh, he won the tip, but he tipped it to the wrong team, so. Number one, Wharton will kick it off. Three point ball, no good. AJ Gunnels with the rebound. Colby Nichols is pushing up the court. And JoJo Mitchell with a two point bucket. A little bit of trapping pressure here by the Bobcats. Oh, got a kick. I don't think they got you turned on yet. Thank you. That's the Bobcats in a little bit of a half court pressure there. That jump ball, Bobcat ball. Up to an early 4 0 lead. I'm, I'm going to have some fun. Yeah, he's going to. There we go. I think you're there, Coach. All right. Yeah, so we're taking over um, for Coach. Oh, I just call him Chad, but Coach Grammer. Coach Grammer. He's down there coaching his his Chilhowee Indians. Asked us to step in. I oh. told him no promises, but nice little alley oop play to yep. JoJo. Out of bounds on the Indians. Had it set up nice. JoJo just didn't finish. He's going to be a handful for Chilhowee um, this evening. Yeah, they there's a that's a mismatch for sure. With a little bit of pressure, I imagine it won't last long. Well, there's still by Nichols in for the layup for two. You know, we were talking to Coach Grammer there earlier before the game, and he, you know, he was telling us that this was a still be a mismatch. Yep. So AJ gets a bucket. AJ Gunnels with the steal and, and the bucket. A ten point ball game. Quickly. Bobcats probably don't need to reach in that that situation. Just play good defense. Yeah, it looks like they're going to man up here. Just go straight man. I'd be surprised if they even try to trap out of it. That's a pretty good help defense by uh, Mitchell. <laughs> good rotation. Always nice to have the big man in the middle to oh, the senior, influence some shots. Block the senior uh, harnesses shot there. Looks like Bobcats are staying, man. Thought about the shot. I'm going to guess that's probably not his natural shot there, but. Looked like he wanted to shoot it. Yeah. There's a drive. Another block by the Bobcats. This time by, the, by Jacob Coffey. Jojo going to try Jojo to take Jojo in transition. Way. Yeah, he didn't finish again. He'll get this. He'll oh, get his. Yeah. I think Coach Roach said he was shooting about 70% from the field this year. That's good. So. It's not he, bad. That means he's probably missed all he's going to miss for the night. <laughs> Wildcat State man out of bounds here. Indians get it underneath their own basket. Asher Harness with the ball. Over to Hunter Wharton. Tried to get it to number. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have all the numbers we'll memorized, get but we'll get there. A.J. Gunnels for three. Just rims out. Rebound by Ethan Pemberton. You gotta love his hair. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. Actually, both of us are a little we're, jealous. We couldn't grow hair out that long even if we wanted to. No. So not seeing Chilla how we play. I'm not sure who like the, their best scorer is. I know that they're down this year, but um, looks like they're getting several shots from several different people. Yep. So far. Levi Jenkins had an open 15 footer. Didn't go in. Nice, oh, nice. fake. Oh, yeah, that was a very Ethan, nice fake yep. by uh, Pemberton there. Yep. Just didn't didn't quite finish it. Him. Indians will inbound the ball. Nice. Here's a quick shot by Pemberton. Draws all rim there. Maybe oh. that is his shot. I, I think they're. I think they've run that a few times. I think they're yeah. trying to get him an open shot on the baseline there. Nichols will bring the ball up. Looks like they're in a two-three zone. Oh, here's a steal. Nice one by Hunter Wharton, oh. and he draws the foul from Jacob Coffey. Yeah. I kind of wondered what uh, Chill Howie's defensive uh, mindset might be with JoJo Mitchell in the middle. It looks like they're going to go 2-3, which mm. is probably exactly yep. what I would do, too. Exactly. Trying you to can double him as, as often as you want out of that and force them to make that baseline three-pointer. Yep. See how good the Bobcats can shoot from the outside. Yeah, they uh, have nights where they do real well, and then sometimes they're a little bit streaky. And if you're going to gamble, I would gamble with the three-pointer over that Jake or over JoJo in the paint every day of the week. Wharton misses the first one. Second try is also a miss with the rebound going to Mitchell. Kobe Nichols will bring up the ball for the Bobcats. Yeah, not, not really trying to get out of there on defense either. Nope. Just really staying inside think, on JoJo. I think they are. Here's a drive by Nichols. Yeah, he keeps reaching for his eye. I wonder if he got poked in the eye a little bit earlier there. I have. There's a near steal. Harness handles the pressure pretty well, brings it across court. It's that top of the key. We had a chance to talk to him a little bit before this game, and, and I think he's ready for the challenge, man, the senior guard. Yeah. That's good. Bobcats come up with a turnover. Another drive by Nichols. Nice little finish. In those for were two. some of those shots that weren't falling for him earlier yep, in the year. That's a good finish by Nichols. There. Take, take to the rim by Wharton. Didn't fall, but it was a good take. Munter couldn't finish that one. Yep. Nichols had a nice pass to Munter. Just that was a tough shot. You know, I know there's only there's only um, five minutes into this ball game, but there is a pretty good mismatch here. And even though they're going with a little bit of pressure here, you can tell tempo is not quite what it normally is. You know, we just got through with a game that we played against Miami, and you get in those situations sometimes where you are just outmatched, and it kind of throws both teams off a little bit. Because we've seen Drexel play a lot, and they can fly. Yep. Number 12, Cole Kimbrough has checked into the game now. For the Bobcats. Gave Drexel a lot of good minutes when Coffey was out yes, early he, in the season. Yes, he did. And it looks like JoJo may roll an ankle there. And foul on double zero, Wiley Grant. Yeah, no ill will there as he was trying to help him up off the floor. Oh, yeah. Yep. JoJo's uh, Mitchell trying to stay in the game to shoot these free throws. Don't see anybody no, I don't see subbing anybody in. So we want the best angle of the scores table up here, but there's uh, the first one's good for JoJo. Yeah, looks like Mike Munter's getting ready to check. And the, the second one's good for Mitchell as. Uh, Michael Muncher is going to come in and sub for him to give uh, JoJo a little break and maybe look at that ankle, maybe get it wrapped. Huh. Body's flying all over the place. Uh, yep, but uh, show how we got it through. But uh, there is Pemberton with the turnover. Yeah, Kobe Nichols. He saw that skip pass, but by the time he saw it, it wasn't there anymore. Yep. 
That happens a lot every time you try to throw that across the court that way. Yep. If you can't anticipate that, I was talking to Coach about that earlier, Coach Graham about that earlier, it's, it's, it's a really hard pass. The Indians break the Bobcats uh, pressure. Pemberton's gonna shoot it just off the mark. Bobcats in transition now. Kick out to the corner for Coffee. Good fake by Coffee. And the, and the, court set and the Bobcats gonna reset. Skip pass to A.J. Gunnels in the corner for three. It's off the mark. Rebound by number 13, Asher Harness. He takes it coast to coast and scores the first points for the Indians. Sticking with that 2-3 zone even though JoJo's not in there. Yep. Nice drive by Coffee, but comes off. And it's off the Bobcats and it'll go to the Indians. I was really hoping number 20, Levi Jenkins, would get that rebound because I've been wanting to say his name all night. So, Yep, number five, Mason Griffin checks in to the game for the Indians. He is, a, uh, he is a sophomore. He's got there's, one player on the bench. One. There's a turnover. Yeah, the Indians do not have a lot of subs. They have exactly six. I'll force that one up there, but... Almost got it to go. Yep. And the uh, rebound caroms off the Indians. It'll be Bobcats ball. 16 to two with 49.9 seconds left in the first quarter. Bobcats in the lead. Here's a drive by Coffee. Goes uncontested all the way to the rim and gets two for the Bobcats. Yeah, I don't think that's probably what coach was looking for there. That <laughs> two, three. I mean, you usually set that up so that you don't give up those. Now there's a steal the by Coffee up to Nichols for two. Bobcats maintaining their half their their full court press. Spin move by Hunter Wharton, but it doesn't go. Bobcats in transition. Little short jumper by Nichols is good on the baseline. Bobcats 22, right at the end of the first quarter, Bobcats 22, Indians two. All right, well, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back for the second quarter. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Before every big purchase you have to prepare, prepare the easy way by calling Harrisonville's Farmers Insurance Agent, Brad Saner. Brad will make sure there are no holes in your coverage and take care of you with any lives mishaps. Prepare for great insurance coverage by calling Brad Saner at 816-974-8105. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Welcome back to William D. Gordon Gymnasium in Drexel, Missouri to the second annual Holiday Classic Tournament, number one seed Drexel versus number eight seed Chillahawe in the last game of the night. Uh, Bobcats dominated that quarter 22 to two. We'll see if strategies change a little bit different for both squads going into this, this second quarter. Yep. Bobcats starting with the ball again. Nichols gets to the middle, kicks it out to A.J. Gunnels for three, and it's good splash for the junior. Yeah, he, when he gets hot, you gotta watch out. He can knock that thing down. Ooh, tough. Man, tough. Nice board. Man, good, good work in there by the Indians. Just can't get him to fall. Here comes an open shot. And catch his number. By number 13, that's Asher Harness for the Indians with the quick two.
Bobcats working around the perimeter. A.J. Gunnels fakes the shot, drives in. And into Cole Kimbrough, nothing there. Indians did a good job of stopping the inside presence of Cole Kimbrough on that one. Yeah, and, and then Colby Nichols kind of had to, he got airborne there and couldn't finish it. See if the Indians can yep. get back-to-back -back buckets here on back-to-back yep. -back possessions. There's a nice cut. Kicked it out to Pemberton, but pass was a little high, so he couldn't quite get set to make a shot. Here's a fast break by Cole Kimbrough, contested, and it falls just short of the rim. I hope that uh, the Bobcats don't have the same problem the Lady Bobcats just had on some of those chippies that don't fall. That's right. But they haven't finished quite like I know Coach Roach would want them to. Nice block, nice by, block by Cole Kimber, yeah. Yeah, good job. See if they run the floor here. Colby with a nice Euro step. He's really got his uh, A game tonight when it comes to touch. Yep. So another two points for Nichols. That puts the score at 27 to 4 right now. Another shot by number 13, Asher Harness. Yeah, and Hunter Warden tried to get the ball, but it just went right off his fingertips out of bounds. So we'll get back and play defense. All right, number 20, Levi Jenkins back in the game for the Indians. And Jojo Mitchell, so I see oh, checked back in too. So Michael Munter. For three. Not a, <laughs> the three-point shooter you expect, but he can make it occasionally, he he, and so he drains that one. He actually has a pretty good-looking shot. He just doesn't use it very often, and that time he got it to fall. And They're going to need some, some role players to step up as this tournament gets deeper. Here's into the a rounds. quick shot by Harness, but it falls short for the Indians. Bobcats in control of the ball, setting up their offense. Uh, Joe, they, that good rebound by AJ. They left JoJo uncontested on the block. I am 100% sure that's step not back. what they wanted out of their 2 3 zone. No. But. <laughs> but there's a nice step back three by AJ Gunnels. Yeah, he, he's, for the Bobcats. He's feeling it tonight for sure. Yeah, that step back was nice. It ends now in the half court. Pressure being applied by Cole Kimbo. There's a steal by JoJo Mitchell. He's going to come in and lay it in for the Bobcats. Ankle seems to be doing okay now. Yeah, he was getting on the floor okay on that one, I think, for sure. Indians back with the ball. Pemberton. Around to Wharton. Wharton in trouble. Gets it out to Harness, who drives in, gets blocked, but gets the ball back, oh. puts it back, but no good. Good hustle on there by, Absolutely. by Harness. There's Harness an open floor. On that. Colby takes it with the outlet pass and gets the layup for the Bobcats. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see that press anymore out of the Bobcats. They've, they've sunk down back into just half court, man. There's a shot yeah. from the nice pump fake and shot by Harness. There's some good hustle by the Indians, but AJ comes up with a loose ball and in for two. Number 13 Harness tried so hard to save that for his team. It just went into the wrong hands this time. There's another steal. Possible. Nope. Right, good hustle there to make sure they didn't turn the ball over. You know, we're getting about the point of that ball game, too, when you don't have very many subs at the, that the uh, tiredness starts to show up a little right. bit, the fatigue starts to show up. And yep. I think we might be seeing a little bit of that right now. Yep. Hardest. As we've coached a few teams before that uh, only had six or seven girls on it. <laughs> I, I do remember those days for sure, Coach. Well, we had to call timeouts just for breaks because we just needed a breather. Yep. There's Michael with a nice drive and a nice cut by Cole Kimbrough to the basket for two. Nice assist there by Michael Munter. It makes the score 41 to four you know, you see in favor of the Bobcats. Cut like that all the time, but they, they don't get in front of that back person on that 2-3 zone, and he did a good job of getting in front of his face there and yep. sealing him off. 
Indians working it around. Harness with the ball. Tries Grant? to get it to Grant, yep. but mishandles the pass. JoJo to the rack and good for the layup. Two points, JoJo Mitchell. And they're going to slow things down. They're going to slow the things down a little bit. Let them too. And yep. They're not, they're not like they're trying they, to trap anything nope, anymore. Called off the press. Ind Indians working their offense. Here's Pemberton for a three. Just a little yep, off. Yep, just there. a little off. It looks like he can shoot it though. He's so about three he's gonna, inches from going three yeah, for three from out there. He's he's very close. So he'll I believe he'll get his. Bobcat's gonna work some offense now. Kick out to AJ, who's been a pretty fire. I believe that's three in a row there yeah. by AJ Gunnels the junior. You know, I was trying to keep track of the score, and I became more of a fan, so I don't really know exactly how many points they have total. But, <laughs> no, he's hit at least his last three. We'll get some updates on the uh, on the uh, yeah, point score at halftime. Half time. And fill in my, deal, my bracket. And oh, then, uh, there's a nice move inside by uh, Hunter Wharton, but uh, falls short. He was contested. That was a tough shot, but he got inside. That's one thing that the Bobcats have really worked on, I think, this offseason is their defensive intensity and getting in passing lanes. It, it, they keep track of deflections. Mm, yes. And it, it's starting to show each, each game they get deeper into the season. Yep. Yeah, the deflections are something some coaches really like to keep track of. I think the Bobcats are going to be content for one shot at the buzzer here yes. at halftime. We're down to the last 35 seconds here in the first half. Bobcats working their offense. They're going to work Look. on some sort of a set play here. Yep. Maybe they haven't ran before. Or just get some practice yep. in. Good time to work on that. Coach Roach initiating the play now. Mark, it's about yeah. 15 second mark. That's when he likes to have the play go. Colby Nichols handling the ball outside. Maybe they're not looking for a shot here. I don't, they may just be uh, no, he's going to get one in the lane here. And that's how the first half will end. Yeah, so we got 46 to 4 at halftime. 46 to 4 at half. Let's see what comes back in the second half. Now we're going we're gonna to take a quick break and we'll see you at the third quarter. At Rise Community Services, we believe in giving individuals the opportunity to increase their skills, empower their choices, and achieve their dreams. Our team provides opportunities that create perfect lives with inclusive programs connecting individuals to their community. Hey, I'm Travis. I took a shot with Rise and it was a slam dunk. Are you traveling far and wide looking for someone to service your vehicle and get new tires? Stop. The best place is right around the corner at Tilton's Quick Lube and Tire in Holden. Right on 58 Highway, they can get you in and out in no time and treat you like family. With 15 years in the business, Charlie and his staff will make sure you get taken care of honestly and fairly. So next time you need service, save the time, gas, and travel around the corner to Tilton's Quick Lube and Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Con. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Before every big purchase, you have to prepare. Prepare the easy way by calling Harrisonville's Farmers Insurance Agent, Brad Saner. Brad will make sure there are no holes in your coverage and take care of you with any lives mishaps. Prepare for great insurance coverage by calling Brad Saner at 816-974-8105. 
We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, ba Forty-six to four at the half, and we'll have Coach Gordon and Co the other coach that's broadcasting come up and give you a recap of the first half. And I'm going to play some more commercials, and we'll be right back after these commercials. At RISE Community Services, we believe in giving individuals the opportunity to increase their skills, empower their choices, and achieve their dreams. Our team provides opportunities that create perfect lives with inclusive programs connecting individuals to their community. Hey, I'm Travis. I took a shot with RISE and it was a slam dunk. Are you traveling far and wide looking for someone to service your vehicle and get new tires? Stop. The best place is right around the corner at Tilton's Quick Lube and Tire in Holden. Right on 58 Highway, they can get you in and out in no time and treat you like family. With 15 years in the business, Charlie and his staff will make sure you get taken care of honestly and fairly. So next time you need service, save the time, gas, and travel around the corner to Tilton's Quick Lube and Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return contest. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. Go see them today, or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Before every big purchase, you have to prepare. Prepare the easy way by calling Harrisonville's Farmers Insurance Agent, Brad Saner. Brad will make sure there are no holes in your coverage and take care of you with any lives mishaps. Prepare for great insurance coverage by calling Brad Saner at 816-974-8105. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right, so welcome back to halftime. There's about four minutes, almost five minutes left in the, in the break. Uh, quick recap of the first half. So um, a little bit of a mismatch in the 1-8 game, 46-4 at halftime. Uh, Nichols was 16. A.J. Gunnels with 14 for the Bobcats. Mike Munter hit a three, has three points at halftime. Jacob Coffey with a, a single bucket. He's got two. JoJo Mitchell with 10. Um, even with going down with a little bit of an ankle sprain, it seems to be fine. He's got 10 at half. And Cole Kimbrough with two points for the Bobcats. Uh, for the Chillahoe Indians, it is Asher Harness um, with all four points for them at halftime. And I think we're probably going to see a little bit different kind of basketball in this second half. Uh, yeah. Knowing Coach Roach like I know him, we'll probably see a lot of JV guys playing in this second half, especially when we get to the fourth quarter. And, Yep. Um, we'll see what the Indians, if they change what they do. They're kind of a little bit handicapped, though. I mean, when you play with six, there's only so much that you can do. And and um, But I think at this point, as a coach, you just want to make sure that your kids are playing hard. Yep. And they're giving you everything they got, and they're working the ball and just trying to get better every game. So Absolutely. But, um, yeah, so this will be the final game of the of the evening. I was going to do a quick recap of the schedule right there. Yep, I okay. got it. You want to give the people a recap of yep. where we're at? Um, yep, in the uh, 10 o'clock a.m. game, we had Miami a three seed versus Midway a six seed, and Midway with the upset 56-54 um, over Miami. So Midway heads to the championship side. Miami heads to the consolation side. 
Then in the 11.30 a.m. game, we had the, on the girls' side, we had uh, Kip KC uh, and Kingsville. Kip, Kip was the number three seed. Kingsville was the sixth seed. Uh, Kip wins 38-27. Uh, so they head to a run-in with the number two seed, KC Lutheran, uh, who played Windsor and beat Windsor 43-19. So you have a KC Lutheran matchup, two, three seed on that side with Kip. And then Kingsville and Windsor, the six, seven seeds on the other side. Then the um, just a little bit ago, we saw the Drexel Lady Cats uh, play Miami and won that game 69-15. And they will take on the Midway Lady Vikings, who beat Shohawi in the 4-5 game, 43-39. Uh, then on the boys' side, again, the number one seed, Drexel, here is leading right now 46-4. Uh, Kingsville... Uh, Lost a close one to Windsor in the 4-5 game, 36-38. So Windsor advances to play the winner of this game. And then uh, Casey Lutheran boys uh, played Heartland Christian uh, in a very close game. It was 49-46 Casey Lutheran. So they advanced to, the, to play Midway on Thursday. You know, we had a lot of good games today. Uh, most of them were very close. The, the Drexel-Miami game got a little out of hand, and this one's getting a little bit out of hand. But... For the most part, we've seen good basketball uh, and all teams competing. Even even the Eagles, when they got down against uh, the Lady Cats, they, they competed the entire game. They never gave up, and they just kept chugging along. So um, this is going to turn out to be a pretty good tournament, I think. I think we yep. got good basketball coming up on Thursday for sure and then again on Friday, and we'll see how those seedings work out and see if, see if these coaches know anything what they're talking about when they're voting for these teams and their seedings because sometimes they don't. <laughs> uh, hey, it, it, early tournaments are hard to seed sometimes. So, yeah, for uh, sure, for sure. But, uh, all right, we are a uh, minute remaining here uh, in halftime. We'll yep, and back to action here in about 50 seconds. And the coach is going over the last little bit. and I think, he's, I think Coach um, Grammar is trying to see who Drexel is getting ready to start this, this quarter with. Yeah. Because it looks like to me that we may be going full JV mode right here. Yep. I see all of them at their shirts off and a couple freshmen. Kind of got a fence in the way here. I can't read all of the numbers, but so we got Barbrick down there, TJ Munter. Uh oh. Did we drop something? No. I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's a good thing about these headphones is that you, I couldn't figure out what that noise was. That was it. <laughs> it was me dropping a chair. <laughs> Well, he warned me when he came up here and showed me the ropes. He's like, that chair will fall off the end yeah, of it. it and I was like, yeah, okay. But at least you weren't sitting in it, for the record. For the record, I was not. No. i just trying to reach, see the numbers here. It looks like we have uh, uh, freshmen yep. coming out. We have uh, Kate Eastwood, number 22. We have Jacob Barbrick, number 44. Uh, TJ Munter, brother of Michael Munter, 25. We have Isaiah Rhodes. And another... Uh, Sophomore, uh, looks like Mason Jackson, number four. Bobcats continue their man-to-man. -man. Pemberton with the ball. Here's a steal by T.J. Munter. He's going to take it coast to coast. And good for the layup. Two points for the Bobcats. Yeah, it looks like Chilahoui. They're starting with Mason Griffin, Asher Harness. Um, looks like they've got Wiley Grant in there, Wharton in there, and Pemberton. Yep, close steal by uh, Kate Eastwood. Shot goes up, but no good for the uh, Indians. Asher Harness tried to float her there, just yep. not quite enough on it. Going to get into Jacob Barbrick, the tall guy in the middle, but... Uh, didn't quite get uh, turned and faced up. the basket and was kind of off balance there. So That's one of those rebound that to the Indians. Some natural to freshmen. Sometimes they've got to learn to get squared up, and when they do, then they become hard to beat. A deflection there from T.J. Munter. Yep, it'll remain Indians basketball. Asher Harness taking the ball out of bounds for the Indians. Wharton with the ball. Oh, nice give nice and go to Asher Harness. Give and Harness. go to Asher Harness. Nice look by the Wharton. Nice bucket for the Indians. He still has all their points at this point. 
Now kick to Isaiah Rhodes, who kicks it over to TJ, Kate Eastwood. Three-point specialist, I believe, for the Bobcats. And there is a three by Isaiah Rhodes. Number 14 for the Bobcats. That makes the score 51 to six now with 6-11 in the third quarter. Here's another give and go. Pemberton tried to get it to Harness again. Oh, here is a mishandled pass, and there is a over and back against the Indians. Pretty sure the official did everything in his power not to blow that whistle right there, but he didn't really have a choice. It was a little bit too obvious on the over and back. But yep. You see him smiling a little bit. But Eastwood will inbound the ball to Mason Jackson. Yeah, Indians still in their 2-3 zone. 2-3 zone. Pass to Jacob Barber, who's going to take it up and... Yeah, they didn't want to call that they travel didn't want to, either. They, I was like, <laughs> I think that was a travel, but yeah. uh, Kobe Burchett, uh, one of our officials, was on top of that one. So, yeah. It, just a little bit delayed. Right. right. It, I, He's a good man. It was one of those where you, time. did he just do what I thought he did? Yeah. Yes, he did. Uh, everybody it, in the gym was kind of like that, though. There was a nice yeah. drive right. by Asher Harness. Again, with eight points, and the Indians have eight points. So, again, all the points coming from number 13. You got me paranoid over here, making sure my chair's not falling off of the platform. You're welcome. On. There it is, three yep. three point specialist Kate Eastwood in the corner. Four three for the Bobcats. He is going to be a good shooter for them. I think he's going to have some big shots throughout this year, even as a freshman. When you get JoJo Mitchell on the inside like that, you need somebody that can uh, help you out from the outside. Yep. Warden attempts a three, falls short. A uh, little hustle play by number one. Uh, Hunter Wharton tries to save the ball. Oh, sorry, no, that was number five, my bad, Mason Griffin for the Indians. Yeah. He comes out. I believe Levi Jenkins is in the game for Griffin. I thought I'd have all these names down by this point, but I don't. Oh. And I uh, apologize to Indian fans There's, out there. Oh, nice. Good inside-out game. Nice pump fake. Oh, Mason Jackson gets to the middle of the lane, but yeah. there's a turnover by the Bobcats. Got a little happy feet on that. Could have called it off. a carry. Could have called it a travel. We went with travel. Yep. So the Indians will have the ball. Try to cut into this 54-8 to eight lead. Good moving around the perimeter by the Indians. Here's another take. That's a tough and a take. Nice one. Nice shot by Hunter Wharton. Hunter Wharton gets two points for the Indians. So somebody besides Harness. Oh. And there's a steal by Wharton. He's going to take it coast to coast. Rebound by number 20, Levi Jenkins. But couldn't get the shot to fall. So. Bobcats basketball. Oh, deflection there by yep. uh, Harness. Yep. Isaiah tried to force it into the post to Jacob Barbrick, but it. Yeah, it looks like Coach Roach is uh, kind of making that an emphasis right here. We're trying to get the ball inside, a in little inside out game. Oh, there was a inbounds play for Jacob Barbrick. Uh, just went up and shot it in one in one jump, but couldn't get it to fall. Nice looking shot by Pemberton. Just falls a little bit short for him. Yeah, looks like we got Miles Wheeler in the game. He's just got that defensive okay. rebound. Okay, number 10, Miles Wheeler in the game for the Bobcats. Nice take by Mason. Turnover by Jackson. Steal by Wharton for the Indians. Nice hands by Mason Jackson, getting the steal for the Bobcats. Chill Howie looks like they came out in a man now against the uh, bench players of yep. Drexel. Yep, good time to work on your man-to-man. -man. Absolutely. Good time for the bench players to work on their man-to-man -man offense. And Chill Howie will be able to work that defense. Oh, there's a nice take by Kate Eastwood. He just couldn't get it to fall. Hustle on the board by Isaiah Rhodes. 
Gets it to Miles Wheeler, who's get fouled on the shot. Will shoot two. Number 20, Levi Jenkins on the arm. You know, I should have looked before this game started, but I don't know if, does Miles have any varsity points yet this year? I don't know. I know he has a bunch of JV points, but his sister just got her 2,000th, and I should have seen how many he had because maybe he might be picking up his first here. Uh, the first uh, <laughs> free throw is off the mark. He'll have one more. And again, another free throw try goes off the mark for Miles Wheeler. And ends with the rebound. Two twenty-six here left in the third quarter. Not a lot of stoppages. No, nope, there has One not foul been. so far called. It's kind of little like, drive, nice out kick to Pemberton, just a little short again, boy. If he gets that online, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna he's make it. He's got him. a nice stroke, nice nice release. Yep. Almost a steal by Asher, Harness, but tough. And there, there was there, there was a tough one. Good rebound by Pemberton, good outlet. Wharton for two, falls short. Isaiah Rhodes with the rebound for the Bobcats. Gets it to Miles Wheeler. Got a lot of young Bobcats on the floor right now, but the, I would say the, with those with these athletes they've got and if they stick with it, that future is going to be bright for these kids too. Yep. We got anybody older than a sophomore out there? I don't think so. Here's Kate Eastwood with another three. Bounces oh. around, almost gets the friendly roll. but Almost. Didn't get that hometown roll. Asher Harness again with the rebound for the Indians. Wharton trying to get into there. There's Harness for three, just short. He's going to start to get some of those to fall, I'll guarantee you. Oh, here's a transition three for Kate Eastwood as he stops and pops from the top of the key. Good for the Bobcats. That's his second three today. He's got six on the night. Try to do a little bit better job of keeping score in the second half. There's a nice cut by Pemberton, but quickly covered up by Jacob Barbrick. Contested shot, that was a tough one by Harness. Yeah. But he gets his own rebound and then he's fouled on the rebound. I like the effort on that offensive rebound there. Yep. TJ Munter comes in for Jacob Barbrick as he heads to the bench. Indians with the ball underneath their own basket. There's a almost steal by the Bobcats, but it goes out of bounds. It'll remain here for the Indians. Got a nice deflection there by Rhodes. Yep. TJ Munter read that one pretty well. Gets the steal for the Bobcats, and Mason Jackson will bring it down for the for the Bobcats. 24 seconds. 24 seconds. He tries to get to Munter. Munter to Kate Eastwood, and there's another three by the freshman. His third one tonight. Third in this quarter. Third in this quarter, that's nine points for the young freshman. He may be three for four from out there tonight. Nice. Anytime you can shoot 75% from the yard, you gotta be happy with that. Yep, here's, there's the he answer. Is it at the buzzer. That is a buzzer beater by Asher Harness. Well, that ends the third quarter with your Bobcat 60, Indians 13. We'll take a break and be right back. At RISE Community Services, we believe in giving individuals the opportunity to increase their skills, empower their choices, and achieve their dreams. Our team provides opportunities that create perfect lives with inclusive programs connecting individuals to their community. Hey, I'm Travis. I took a shot with RISE and it was a slam dunk. Are you traveling far and wide looking for someone to service your vehicle and get new tires? Stop. The best place is right around the corner at Tilton's Quick Lube and Tire in Holden. Right on 58 Highway, they can get you in and out in no time and treat you like family. With 15 years in the business, Charlie and his staff will make sure you get taken care of honestly and fairly. So next time you need service, save the time, gas, and travel around the corner to Tilton's Quick Lube and 
Yeah, so we're back here at the fourth quarter, getting ready to start. I mean, 60 to 13 ball game with the number one seed, uh, Drexel Bobcats in control over the number eight seed, Chilahawi Indians. It was a 22 to two first quarter, 24 to two second quarter, and then uh, got back to a little bit more uh, realistic basketball, the 14 to nine quarter there in the third. Yep. But we'll be in a running clock, so this one will go pretty fast. Katie Eastwood, probably the story of the third quarter there with There's another three attempt. Oh. Wow, just off that Just time. off the mark, but a nice rebound by Asher Harness yeah. for the Indians, and he will bring the ball up the floor. You know, one thing I got to say about the Indians, too, as we watch them. Uh, no, nice, nice fake by Asher Harness on the fake pass. Yeah. Nice layup. Nice. Very, very nice. You know, when you get down like this, sometimes it's easy to hang your head and it's easy to just go through the motions or to have a chip on your shoulder and get, you know, not be a good teammate. But they're all still playing hard and they're still working with one another. They're, nobody's dropping their head and you got to give Coach credit for keeping his team in this one mentally. Yep. There was a nice pass to Mason Jackson, but he just lost the handle for a second. Had a couple of shots at another take by Asher Harness. He's fighting for that rebound. The Bobcats nice eventually come up with the ball and are in transition. That's one of those plays when you get a ball game is 60 to 15 that you don't really get that layup foul called, I don't think. But he, he had a nice drive. Nice drive, and they have to kind of respect him out there, but he used that to his advantage and got to the rim and will get his own rebound and get fouled. So Katie Eastwood will be shooting two free throws. If he's got a chance to... Uh, Put in his 10th point of the ball game here. There you go. Just rims out. Rims out. <laughs> Probably a little too close for Eastwood. Seems, yeah. You know. A little, a little too much inside his range. A little 20, right 20 foot better for the young freshman than 15. Oh, T.J. Munter with the offensive rebound for the Bobcats, but it doesn't fall. Here we go. Asher Harden is going to take it. Oh, deflected by the Bobcats out of bounds. It'll stay Indians ball. You know, this is why you keep playing here. You know, it's a good time to work on your out-of-bounds plays against the squad and, and just keep grinding. I'd really like to see. Um, Try to get the ball to Wharton there. I'd like to see Primerton knock down one of those shots on the baseline. I you know. he can do it. He's got a nice, nice release there. Yep. He'll get one. All right, and the Indians will run their offense. There's Wharton for two, just a bit sh short. And the Bobcats secure the rebound. Miles Wheeler at point guard for the Bobcats. This pass to TJ, or Jacob Barbrick. Wasn't the best pass. No. Uh. Hard to handle Hard that to one. Corral that one in. So turnover by the Bobcats. And there he is in the corner. Got another one. Got another one. There Harness is for three. Harness for three, making the score 60-18, and the clock continues to roll with 4:35 left in the, in the game. Munter on the outside. Nice take to the rim. Falls a little bit short. Wharton tries to get it up. Or, I'm sorry, Pemberton tries to get up to Wharton, but it was overthrown and big Bobcats ball. Yeah, and he, he's talking to the ref right now. I think the ref is kind of trying to keep his spirits up, too. And it's like, I just got, a little, got away from me there. Yep. Barbrick on the perimeter now with the ball. Looks like they're trying to give T.J. Munter some inside presence. Oh, nice fake and then a nice dish to T.J. Munter by Kate Eastwood. Yeah, that was a nice assist. Kate could have probably taken that shot too and fed it to his team that hadn't scored yet. Had a good shot, found a better shot. Yep. Anytime you can get it closer and it's even more wide open, um, you should be all about that. Thought about shooting it. Thought about shooting, but I think they're wanting to work some offense and get that. Oh, man. 
Asher about had another one. Yes, he did. It just rattles out, and the Bobcats secure the rebound. Yeah. Wheeler. Asher Harness got 16 tonight. Yep. Quiet 16. Yeah. Oh, there's a – Jacob nice. Barber had a step on him. TJ just couldn't Monter get the reverse layup to go. Hustle play. Bobcats rebounding very well. I don't. They probably got at least four offensive rebounds in that one possession. Yeah, you know, Barbrook's going to learn there, too. When, when you get that deep, it's hard to turn to your left, and now, now you're contending with the backboard, you know. So now you got another defender. you got that sixth defender there. So he'll learn, fake that that way, and then turn it back in. But yep. he's, I think he does have a bright future ahead of him. T.J. Munter for two, gets the first free throw to go. That's the third point of this half. Looks like Isaiah Rhodes sitting down and Mason Jackson coming in for the Bobcats. TJ misses the second one. Kate Eastwood comes up with the rebound for the Bobcats. Misses his point try. Bobcats will reset. They run some offense. Yeah, everybody's still working hard down there. Barbrick. Yep. I oh. <laughs> TJ kept flying in there out of nowhere. He did. But couldn't quite keep the handle. Yep. Couldn't quite corral it. So it'll be Indians ball with 150 left in the game. 63-18 Bobcats. We're just going to bring it across a half court line here. I imagine they're probably going to be looking for work for one wide open shot here. And nice fake by Pemberton. I'm rooting for him to get one to fall. You know he's exhausted. I don't think he's had yep. a break yet. Nope. TJ Munner with a bucket on the other end. Yep. Nice look there. Pemberton with a little frustration, I think. That's his fifth point of the game. Miles Wheeler contesting there. Quick swing over to Wharton, who drains the three for the Indians. His fifth point. Nice looking shot. Yeah. You know, he's been looking at the basket and making people jump out on him, but I wasn't sure he was going to pull the trigger, and he did and knocked that thing down. Oh, there's a cut by TJ. Nice look by Eastwood, who gets the assist, and it's TJ much gets the, the bucket. the only kind of bucket that you are looking for as a coach when you were up by 45, 46 yep. at this point. But if you get that backdoor cut to the rim to a kid that doesn't necessarily get to play a lot of varsity minutes, you got to let him score that. Mason with a nice contest, but he fouls double zero Wiley Grant, who will shoot two for the Indians. And this will probably end this ball game. Yep. We're going to end this at the free throw line with a running clock, it looks like. Yep, 15 seconds left, and Grant misses the first one. One more. The second one is no good. Attempt on the rebound, goes out of bound on the Indians, and that is how the ball game's going to end. 67-21, the number one seed Drexel Bobcats over the number eight seed Chillahoe Indians. And um, we were going to have our rise player of the game. I think it's kind of a weird two tails, two halves, two, two different tails. But I think we'll give that to A.J. Gunnels uh, tonight yep. for the Bobcats, who um, ended up with 14 points, but was really deadly from the outside. So... Uh, congratulations to Bobcats moving on, and uh, we'll go to break, and then we'll bring it right back to you and wrap it up for the evening. Everyone needs a little kickstart at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so head to Sonic of Harrisonville and kick away the afternoon fog. Grab an ice cold drink full of caffeine and kickstart your afternoon and evening. The best part, 2 to 4 is happy hour and drinks are half price. Grab an afternoon snack of cheesy bites or jalapeno poppers or order on the app for happy hour anytime. Sonic Happy Hour, where you kick away the fog. Also, visit 4 and sign up for the Sonic Kick Return Con. One of the most important decisions you make is who cuts your hair. Don't trust just anyone. Trust Josh and the crew at Fades. From a simple cleanup to a full cut, or maybe you need to look extra good for the big game with a design, they will take care of you. Coach Grammer trusts the guys at Fades, and so should you. Located just behind Sonic off McGuire. 
go see them today or visit their Facebook to set up an appointment. Okay, well, welcome back. First day in the books at the second annual William D. Gordon um, Holiday Classic Tournament. And uh, Coach Chips, what we got on the, uh, what's the bracket looking like for Thursday now? Well, Thursday at 10 a.m. we'll have our uh, girls game. Uh, it'll be Miami versus Chill Howie. And then at 11.30, we'll have the boys game, which will be the Chill Howie versus Kingsville game. Then we go to uh, 1 o'clock, and that will be, the, on the boys' side will be Kingsville versus Windsor. That's going to be a good ball game right yep. there. And then we switch over to the uh, champ. That's on the consolation side. And then on the championship side, uh, we'll have, um, if I can find it. No, I'm sorry. Still on the consolation side, we'll have a, a 2.30 game. It'll be Miami versus Heartland Christian. Uh, and then at 4 o'clock, we will have the, uh, on the ladies' side, we'll have the Kip KC versus Kansas City Lutheran game. That's a two versus three. Then on the 5.30 game, we'll have the boys Midway versus Kansas City Lutheran. Then at 7 o'clock, Drexel will take on Midway. And then the nightcap will be the Drexel Bobcats versus the Windsor Greyhounds in the 8.30 game. Yeah, the Windsor Greyhounds, uh, that they had the four seed in that for the boys. That was the five seed, the actually. The five seed upset the four seed. Slight, yeah. slight upset, yeah. They're pretty athletic. I saw them play today. I think that they'll give uh, um, a little bit more contested uh, looks to our guards, the, the Bobcat guards on that game. Um, they like to move the ball up and down the floor, so this should be a pretty fast-paced game. I think when you look at the uh, the other semifinal game, there was uh, on the – yeah, Midway versus Lutheran. Um, that's a pretty equally matched game also. Uh, Midway versus Miami was a very um, close ball game today. And Midway versus Lutheran should be another really good semifinal matchup to see who can go to the championship game. Um, biasly, I really like the uh, – Drexel Lady Cats versus the Midway Vikings at that 7 o'clock semifinal game. Yep. Those two schools, when they get together, I don't care who's good, who's not, it's always going to be a battle. Yep. And uh, both schools have good sportsmanship. Um, I think uh, the kids are very um, – they like to hustle and get after it, and that should be a really good ball game. And then, you know, the Kip, the Kip squad that a lot of people didn't know a whole lot about going into this, you know, they showed up and they handled their business, and now they're going to get to go against Lutheran. I believe, again, that's going to be an, a very equal game. Both teams got some pretty good guards. They'll be able to get up and down the floor and play some pretty good defense. So um, should be some really good basketball on Thursday. And, of course, we'll wrap this thing up on Friday night and uh, um, with our championship games at 7 and 8.30 on Friday evening. But if you haven't been out, come join us at William D. Gordon Gymnasium in Drexel, Missouri. And uh, that's going to be it for us tonight. Shut it down for the evening and uh, take a day off and be back. And and Coach uh, Graham will be back here on Thursday, and, and uh, we won't have to sub for him. He makes it look easy, but That's right. we do appreciate him, and we do want to tell him how good of a job he does because he's, he's a good man, and he puts everything he's got into this. So yep. thank you, Coach Grammer, and uh, that's all we're going to do from here, and we'll see you guys on Thursday.